All right, well, hey, welcome back to another episode on the Telemotive Garage YouTube channel. Uh, lurking behind me today is my daily driver. This old girl here is going to be able to get me back and forth to work halfway reliably. So, uh, lately it's been doing its early springtime mating call and wagging its butt while going down the road because the shocks are plumb wore out. So, today we're just going to put some shocks on today. These things here, we found them on the floor in the shop in the parts room or the tool room. And uh, they were getting ready to get, you know, get scrapped. So they're uh, they're in good shape. So stay tuned, and we're going to put them on there. Okay? Let me uh, let me pick that back up. Oh god! All right, we're going to do a quick walk around here. See, look, it's got new tires on it because tires create good traction when it rains. Uh, right here is a potential weight reduction. Um, it's a customizable fender. Uh, I would just wood screw that back on, but unfortunately there's nothing to wood screw to except dirt clods. Right there's another new tower. Right. Are you gonna participate? Right there's a shaft. Over here, it didn't come with the dual side uh, well, maybe it did. This did come with a dual side uh, fender exit feature. Uh, unfortunately, this one doesn't need to be witch screwed quite yet, so we're gonna hold off on that. Um, that's, that's still a new tower. Right here's the very dangerous looking, very rough edged uh, step that you probably don't wanna use because it'll probably rip it off if you step on it. And then right here's the other new tower. But yeah, so this was a thousand dollar avalanche. Got it from an old dude in a town that is near me. Uh, this is uh, this is nice. When you're driving down the road at night and you turn the fog lights on, you can really get people getting going crazy because they see that wobbling and it, it gets them going wild. Kind of sporadic. So anyway, I'm gonna see if I can hire a camera lady man and they can she can film me down here. So doing the right thing and just putting the camera right where I need to lay so that I can't see what I'm doing. But I already got this nap broke loose, and that's that's helpful. I'm gonna try to just kind of talk this bolt out with kind words, love, and encouragement, so I don't have to take the tire off. I don't want to pull the wheel off, because so, I, I don't feel like whacking with hammers. That pinion seal is destroyed. The whole bottom side of that diff is getting rust proofed. Oh, there it is. All right, just come out, Bolt. I, you don't need to be in there right now. Just, why don't you just go ahead and slide right on out of there. We'll put the nut back on because it looks like we're gonna have to do some tender loving care with the hammer. Just put that back on. Yep, right up here, oh. Oh, that's good. I just discovered uh, my exhaust being held on by an electrical wire. Look at that. I wouldn't even call that custom. I would just call that genius. As you can tell, the rubber doohickey is just dead. So they did that. That's good. Let's, just, uh, let's pretend that's not actually there. Okay, up there where you can't see is the next bolt that we're going to take out. A buyer. Where's the 21 at? All right, 10 bucks says this one also breaks right loose. It comes right out. Oh, God. I win. If I had uh, power tools, I would smile even bigger. Well, great. Oh, God. So I got I got a I got tree bark for for a trailer pulling devices hooker thingy jiggers. So what do you do after you take the old shock out? What's the next step? Do you know? I don't know either. 
We're just gonna skip whatever that step is, move on to the one after that, and put the new one in. Uh, one of the bolts decided to uh, go ahead and head over there. It thinks there's pizza over there or something. Trust me, if there's pizza over there, I'd know it. Let me, let me do it this way. Let me feed you in this way. Yeah. Oh, you're... Oh. There, it's like wedge, sort of. Come here, Bolt. Come here. Where did it go? It's way over there. Way. Oh, get it. Well, I'm halfway stood up already. You get it. Yeah. Give it to some of the Love Shack taps. I'll be flipping. Where'd it go? Is that it? Are you it? That's it. Oh. Now, what you want to do is you want to reach over everything. Put your face directly under everything so that when you rub rust and dirt and spiders and things, they all fall in your mouth. There, I got it in. Oh, it's in my ear. Give me that. Okay, now I'm just gonna lay on this other bowl and uh, let it make an imp impression in my head. What is that? Is that a bowl? No, it's a socket. Never mind. Now the whole thing's spinning. That's good. Because that means it's now time to become really buff and. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get in there. 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 See, that's how you do it. And it says ranch o Ram. Oh, Ram C Ho. Um, did the other bolt get. There it is. It's been located. Now, the best thing to do here is to just kind of blow your shoulder out and use the wheel and the bolt and not get it. Oh, you could use a screwdriver to help align it, but I, I'm just I'm too good to do that. Oh, I got it. There. There, it's in. And then you just put your nuts on and you tighten the feck out of them and then you move on the other side. What you could do is just not put shocks in your vehicle and have a shop do it. This only pays like 0 0.9. So it's like 150 bucks plus parts and tax out the door. But what fun is that? Are you blind? Mm -hmm. All right, folks, just, uh, you know, just, oh, and let me, let me see the uh, people or the person viewer if you observe closely that diff the diff cover is new it's an ac delco cover we painted it we locked tight of these bolts because they kept backing out because they're bastards and then guess what the pinion went out the pinion seals out so now it's it's rust proofing the entire bottom of the diff so uh this rear end is just it just it can't have an it's it, it just wants more attention it can't get enough you're all right girl just be okay why is it swelled What's that? I'll just pretend that's okay. It's gotta be fine. All right, so 333 years later, that's uh, at least 455,000 full moons and, and two eclipses. I've gotten the top bolt out. It didn't wanna come out. It, it signed a union contract and the contract stated that it stays in forever and he was a union man. But, I coerced him into breaking his word with the bolt union and just kept waterboarding him until he was suicidal and he came out. Oh. I still have the bottom bolt in. I was just, you know, just uh, demonstrating my strength and dominance. So once you get that out, like I said, there's another step, but I can't, we can't remember what it is. So we skip it and we just go to the next step where we put the new use shocks in, okay? Look, this one just spawned in my hand. It was very good of it. It's a good ran C-ho. And we'll just shove it in and 
put bolts in it for some reason. It no, it's right there. And everything's good again, right? Okay. Do all the YouTubers find it weird to talk to themselves all the time? Say things and never get a response. Or is it just uh, Derek? Invite script for the action. Cameraman, are you alive? Yes. Are you a real person? No. I didn't think so. A simulation. I just put this in and uh, it's on the wrong side of the thing. This um, birthday cake looking icing decoration cable thing. Oh, well that was easy. Ow. It's going to be a pain in the rear because I really like to put the top in first because uh, it's easier to do and then just force the bottom in because it's closer to me. But I don't get to do that today because of this. So, I get to just do it like that. Oh god. I can't tell where it's gotta, it's gotta go down more. About approximately in that vicinity. Okay, yep. Just go in now, please. I'm getting neck abs from holding my big head up all this long time. Oh, God! Oh. I'm going to require a screwdriver. You have one over here or no? Don't? No. Okay. No. Okay. I do not. No. Me not know yet. Didn't look yet. See, see, see the right Wasn't fast enough. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. I just can't do it. I did it. I did it. One down, 10 million to go. Anybody know where that bolt went? I'm missing a, I'm missing a very important bolt. Um. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, it's under the jack. I, f I find. I know, I find. You find? Yes. You didn't, you know, look, you know. I found it. You did not. You found it. It's okay. The camera knows. My, my followers will definitely side with me. Not. Hey, I found the bolt. It's just shoving it out of there. Oh no! How's that even possible, I wonder? Got it! Okay, give me approximately 17 more weeks and I will have these tight again. And then uh, this job will be done. Remember, this takes 0.9 hours. And then if you're just doing one side, then it's point like four or point three. So it's point three for one or point nine for two. You know, rears. I think the front of this also has shock absorbers. Not that's not struts. It's like you know, shocks and springs. Coils. So she don't hear us. You're okay, girl. It's all right. You're all right. I mean, air from an impact. 
You think I could just blow into my impact and that'll be enough torque? Probably. Oh, are you being mean to me? <laughs> <laughs> Would I do that? Huh? Would I ever do that? Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. No, I'm always nice. Always? Mm hmm. <laughs> It's uh, moving on the jack stands. You're silent. Are you? Are you dead? Mm-hmm. Where from? It was kind of an om ominous sound. It was. Let's hurry up and get this done so we not die from angry avalanche avalanche moments. Hurts my poor wee little wrist. That hurt my wee little wrist too. Get tight. Yeah. Oh god. Oh no, my socket's in the pocket. Oh. Socket's in the pocket. This, my, my socket fell in the pocket. Oh crocky me arm. It's splatter. Oh. My neck abs are wearing out. One more. Oh, okay, good enough. Don't wanna, don't wanna break that huge bolt off, clean off, cause all that torque. It's gonna have to go higher, cause the other side is, it's a little whopper gel. It's a little dropper wall. All right, so after very easy, stress-free, very clean, simple shot replacement job. But now we need to make sure they work. Hey, they work. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And uh, keep an eye out for our, uh, our random and sporadic uh, YouTube shorts. There's a guy trying to blow his Ranger up right outside the garage door right now. And he'll probably be successful. There you go. Bye-bye. Why does it sound like it has hydraulics? It literally sounds like it has a, like a freaking hydrostat bucket or something on it. Here, let's, let's investigate. This is bonus content. Oh my God. That's a power steering pump. And he's pulling a trailer that's dragging like 30 feet of wire. Okay, anyway, we'll see you next time, folks. Thanks for watching.